you can see here. I mean, this is just a wall of blockers set up and it happens so consistently that I think this is without a doubt one of the most broken plays in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Man Money Shot. Snip up the man, cheese as always. Got another top five video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over super rare run plays that are completely overpowered. Some of these plays are so rare you can only find them in one playbook, and some of them are so rare you can't even find them in custom playbooks. They're only in alternate playbooks. So a lot of these plays I guarantee you guys never heard of or never seen, and you really need to find them and use them because they're completely overpowered. Now, I did a vid last week, uh, which was top five rare glitch routes in the game that are, once again, totally overpowered. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. Make sure you check this video out first. As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button and let me in the comment section. Woo! If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to stay up to date on all the hottest Madden trends. Now, the first playbook I'm going to start off with is the Baltimore Ravens. I can make an entire video out of just the rare plays that are in the Baltimore Ravens that can't be found in any other playbook, especially when it comes to run plays. My absolute favorite is out of the Gun Y Off Trio Week. But the play itself is going to be the Buck Sweep. You can see I've called this play 215 times and I average almost 13 yards of carry. Now, this play may only be in the Ravens, but there's also a very similar play called the Buck Sweep at a very similar formation in the Steelers. That formation is actually called the Y Trips Weeks. Now, as far as this play goes, it's definitely going to be best against defenses where the cornerbacks drop back uh, after the snap. This particular defense here looks like a cover for quarters, so I'm sure these safeties will walk their way down. But even against a top run defense like that, you can see I get outside of it right away. That was a cover for quarters. I can tell by the pre-snap formation. If we go to the replay, you can see why this play is so successful the pulling guards really are the MVP one of which is I think this guy here he typically gets out in front of the play and is your lead blocker you can see here I mean this is just a wall of blockers set up and it happens so consistently that I think this is without a doubt one of the most broken plays in the game now I'm in a shotgun which is something that typically your opponent will only expect inside runs so they may go as far as to pinch the defense which is going to make this play even more explosive uh, because typically inside zones halfback draws inside bases stuff like that is typically what you're going to see when it comes to a shotgun so an outside run like this is really going to catch your opponent with their pants down typically you also want to make sure that you're sprinting right away since that's pretty much going to be the base of this run is getting outside as fast as possible next up i'm in the new orleans saints and the formation is called the weak pro now this particular play i'm going to show you guys is in two different playbooks it's in the san diego chargers and it's also in the new orleans saints and one of the best run plays in the entire playbook is the power o weak now when it comes to this play if you have a gap obviously that's probably one of the biggest advantages but this is a run where you can really take it outside a lot especially if you have uh, a look like that where essentially they cave in the blocking this play has really two reads it's an inside out read run you can either run it inside between a gap kind of like a halfback power o or you could take it outside like a stretch play as you can see right here the defense just basically it's caved in giving me nothing but space to the outside so ultimately i mean this is a play if this guy wasn't in the hole here i probably would have nothing but a sprint up the sideline as you can see he's really the only defender in the area but this is a play that really can have some humongous gains this is a play that you can flip if you want to with the right stick but i find it's best to run it as is on a play like this where you don't really see a gap i can guarantee that the best run lane is going to be outside as you can see right here the tackle gets held up and you basically just have nothing but sprinting run space to the edge but make no mistake when you see a run play like this you really need to have outside leverage like right here that safety coming down the box you really want down the other side because ultimately he's just going to get cleared out by the fullback and you're just going to have a very big run lane uh, to the edge typically for you know 10 to 15 yards or more next up we're in the Patriots now the formation should look very familiar because it's in a lot of different playbooks and I think it's also in the Washington playbook but I'm in the New England Patriots and the New England Patriots has one very specific play that doesn't exist in any of those playbooks and that's the power option the power option you can see I ran 110 times to average 11 yards of carry this play here has a pitching element to it that uh, none of the other plays we've gone over so far have uh, you can flip this play you can run it to the other side basically to the tight end side or you can run to the side that it is out already and motion across either a tight end or a receiver it's really up to you uh, both of which are very good options the receiver though i don't think crosses the line of scrimmage i'm pretty sure the receiver stops but i'm not 100 sure i think he actually does cross there we go so it's up to you if you have a zone coverage this is a very good option because you can see the cornerback doesn't follow which basically gives me an additional blocker now i have a blocking advantage on the left side so basically once the play starts you just have to hit the left bumper to flip it out that first one there kind of got hit with the quarterback a little bit didn't quite get the pitch out 
A lot of the success on this play is really based off of the pitch. On this particular play, you can see it. Try to pitch it out, but I think it hit the defensive players. Probably should have been a fumble, but a lot of these pitches really seem to get the, the offense seems to get the benefit of the doubt. As this right here, it really changes the trajectory, but it doesn't mess up the play to the point where it gets to be a fumble. Typically, you want to hold this ball as long as possible with the quarterback, just so you can make sure that the oncoming defender tackles the quarterback and not go to the running back. So I'll go down and run this again. We have a very tightly packed box. We've got nine defenders in the box, but it's not going to matter because the pitch here, if I do it correctly, you can see it's a huge cheat code. Gets the ball out about 10 yards away from the uh, nearest defender. But with a more mobile quarterback and with a faster running back, this is an absolutely unstoppable play, as you can see right here. Once again, the ball just warps 10 yards away from the nearest defender, and there's nothing the defense can do about it. It's essentially a pass on a run play, which is a huge advantage on a play like this. We're going to run it the other way. Like I said, right here, the defender actually followed the running back. He didn't go for the pitch. So when that happens, you do have an opportunity to keep with the quarterback a lot of times. As you can see right here, if you see a defender not committing, you basically have to hold it. That's your tell to hold it with the quarterback, and I still got close to 10 yards even with a quarterback who's a pretty average speed QB. Next up, out of the Buffalo Bills, we have another really rare formation. I think it's only in the Buffalo Bills. The pistol open flex. And the run play itself is the inside zone weak. I've only used this because I don't use the Bills as much as I use some other formation, other playbooks. But I've only used this play 36 times and an average 11 yards a carry. Now, this play here, it's essentially like an inside zone with a fullback blocking, or essentially is also my starting tight end. But ultimately, this is one of the better run plays that you can get in the game. You can see right there, I mean, the, the tight end didn't even go in the direction of the actual running back but typically you'll see the tight end be your lead blocker like he is right here i think i over pursued there i think he didn't know who to go to because it looked like he was going to go to the safety if he would have it definitely would have been, been a big run let's go and let's flip that and run it the opposite way because like i said it does work this way as well as you can see here once again we're getting uh big run plays to both sides here we have the safety coming down the box i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna run it like that because i'm gonna i'm gonna bet he over pursues and sure enough he does and we're gonna have our first touchdown of the video like i said very explosive run very good blocking and very consistent but also very hard to find next up we're in the kansas city chiefs playbook and this is another play that i put out in a previous scheme i'll have links in the description for all of this stuff the pistol wing flex close to the formation i don't think you can find this in any other playbook the play is the speed option which is once again a play which i average close to 12 yards of carry i haven't run it a ton because i don't really run the chiefs a lot but this is definitely one of the better run plays in the game this is another pitch play and it's another play where you can get an advantage either by flipping it or by motion your receiver or tight end uh, against what looks like a man coverage here if i motion this guy across you see nobody really follows and now we have a blocking advantage so if it's a zone coverage it's a good look i find it's always best to flip it back behind the receivers i find that's the most successful way to go you can see right here once again you want to make sure that you get let the uh the oncoming defender take out the quarterback before you get out the pitch and this is going to be very similar to the pistol weak formation as you can see right here essentially once i get contacted the ball will still get out even through the contact and then i pitch the ball out and once again boom we got about 10 yards of separation to the nearest defender so very consistent run play we'll go and we'll do that one more time like i said take that guy on get that pitch out you can see right there the defender was pretty close but the pitch itself is going to get you close to 10 yards every single time next up i'm in the ravens one more time the formation is the pistol full house base i think the full house base is in a couple different playbooks but the play i'm going to show you guys isn't in any of those playbooks but the wing power o which is the play i'm going to show you guys you can see i've called this play almost 300 times to average over eight yards of carry this play is completely unique from this formation as far as how it looks when you get to the line of scrimmage this is the only play in the formation where it looks like this where you have a solid line across the board you got your tight end and your fullback at the offensive line or at the shoulders of the offensive line uh, where pretty much every other play from this formation looks like this this is your typical full house package so this play here really has a lot of diversity as far as uh, how you can run the plays based off of the wide spread of the blockers you can really treat this like a stretch play or you can treat it like a power play typically you want to go towards the biggest gap like right here but like i said when i run this play i might run inside i might run outside it really depends on what i see after the snap like right there probably should have took it outside didn't get the best run it's very diverse and it's also very consistent so right here we got a tightly packed box we got an extra safety at the in the line there i'm gonna go the opposite direction you can see i'm gonna pretty much treat this like a, uh, an outside run as you can see nine times out of ten i gotta get through that hole first but once i do i'm typically taking it outside next up i'm in an alternate playbook the pistol playbook now i'm gonna show you guys a formation that if you follow my channel 
touchdown last year. I ran to death. It was without doubt one of my favorite plays, one of my favorite formations. I haven't run it too much this year. But it's out of the pistol weak slot flex, which isn't in any single playbook in the game other than this particular playbook. I have run this play 14 times, though, and I have averaged close to 13 yards of carry. And that play is the power option. This particular play, if it's a man coverage like this, I would say flipping it's the way to go. But ultimately, I always want to run it as is if I have my choice. But you can see right here, there's nothing really out here. So when I get this flip out, which is another pitch play, you got to hit that left bumper button. You can see once again, the pitch gets you close to 10 yards by itself. What's that replay one more time? It's the exact same thing as before. You just want to wait for contact. You see, you're going to get that pitch out. And once you get that pitch out, boom, it's all about speed at that point. There's nothing out here. You're basically 10 yards away from the close to finish. You just want to sprint up the field as quick as possible. I still feel like the best way to run this though is as is, especially if there's a defender on the right side like there is now. That trick only really works against man coverage, but ultimately you can have the exact same effect. If you flip it to the other side, you can see we have the exact same effect. We're getting easily 10 to 15 yards of carry based off the fact there's nothing out here. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.